so the connection I see between the time I spend on the ocean and my spiritual life, when I'm working, it comes on the way out and the way back. to sit and appreciate the largest magnitude of beauty we have on this earth really puts into perspective my idea of God. And most of the revelations and most of the understanding that I have about God has come in those times of silence in riding in the boat and truly has been a blessing having those times in my life. I got into fishing pretty much around the time that I met Aiden. When we were about nine, we met at a camp here on the coast, and he invited me out to his grandma's house, and from there we started catching salmon. And then our imaginations just kind of continued where we fished from small rivers to the Columbia, to the ocean, and into kayaks in the ocean. The thing that I love most about fishing is the idea that it's a continuous puzzle. That you never fully know if you're going to catch fish. You can speculate and you can sometimes guess, but you never really know how you're going to catch them or if you're going to catch them. And so it's a continuous puzzle you have to solve every day. Along with that, I, I love the peace and the calm that follows having solved the puzzle. The idea of like success when others have failed and that your current knowledge and past knowledge allowed you to succeed today. The summer's gone great. I've truly felt very fulfilled in, I guess, all the elements of my life, where I feel like I've worked quite a lot this summer while not losing touch with my mental clarity, which I find has been a struggle in the last couple of years of working so many hours that I get into this state of almost delirium. But this summer, I, I feel very clear-headed. I feel very physically healthy in my diet and in my working out. And I feel a lot of success in what I've been able to accomplish on the boat, in the connections I've made with people, and the relationships that I've allowed to continue on. To elaborate on the silence that I feel after fishing on the boat, it kind of begins with the stress of the morning. Every time I step on the boat, I, I have the mental realization that, you know, people are paying to come fishing and obviously want success. So going out, I'm watching for logs, I'm watching for crab pots, making sure we hit nothing. But all the while, the stress is still in the back of my head of success. How do we get that? The calm that I feel after the day when we're driving back is as a result of that success and the lifting of the stress off my body. Being able to sit and appreciate the beauty of the nature surrounding me with no stress and no worries is truly one of the most beautiful experiences that I've had the fortune to have on this earth.